Elizabeth and Miss Zoe here. We're Happy Holland and we have a rather large Easter haul to share with you guys. Um, but before we get into the haul, if you are not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time we post a video. And don't forget to smash that like button. And I just want to give a huge thank you to all of the wonderful comments that we had on our last video. I am so thankful that you guys are so understanding about us going to one video a week. We love you guys. Um, thank you for being understanding. Yes. <laughs> thank we, we appreciate it. And I'm you. I know. Yeah. But we do appreciate all of you guys, and thank you for all of those kind words. I enjoyed reading all of them, and I'm sorry it took me so long to comment back. It's just been kind of busy around here, so. She, she has been reorganizing the entire house. And we have some lessons for the kids. You know how life goes. So let's get into the haul now. It's a giant Easter haul, and I'm so excited to share all of the goodies that I have purchased. So I picked up two of these paint sets, um, one for each of the kiddos, and they did have other designs, but I had to get my kids each the same one. It's a cute little bunny, and it comes with this adorable little um, easel with the paint. So then it's a great way to display it when you're done painting it. Yeah. I thought that was so cute. So picked that up. I can just imagine how they're going to turn out. Beautiful, beautiful works of art. And we picked up these watermelon fruities. Who else remembers these being like penny candies? I don't know if they were, I paid a penny for them ever, but I remember them being cheap. I mean, they may, they may very well have been a penny candy. Yeah. At the local convenience store. Yeah. I'd walk down the street. Mm -hmm. So we had to pick a bag of those up. I don't remember them ever having watermelon though. Well, he's crazy. They have watermelon, all kinds of different I colors. would have gotten it if they had watermelon at my convenience store. Okay, and moving on to the next item, I found the Easter Stampers. So they do these for every season, so you get eight of them, if Mr. Holland wants to show you guys. All the designs. Okay, so we've got... As best you can. We've got a truck. An egg. Is that an egg? Yeah. It's a chicky. No, I was talking about the other one. Okay, well, okay, there's chickie an egg. Chicky and egg. It, it's refusing to focus. It's not gonna focus. Anyway, egg. Then on the other end, there's Happy Easter, another egg, and a gnome. A, uh, gnome holding a carrot. And then the other side. I don't think that you can see those. That's it. No, and then there's oh, those. Oh, there's two. those two. I didn't even see the bunny footprints and a bunny head. There's no way you're gonna see that. Though. And these are cute ideas to stick in Easter egg if you do Easter egg hunts because that's my. I've been looking for fun things that are not candy to fit in Easter eggs. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment below. Um, but that's something that I stumbled across that I thought would be great for an Easter egg hunt. And then the next item wasn't even in the Easter section in my store, but these are egg chocks. And so I thought, you know what, this is perfect for Easter um, and for all of summer as well. They've got six in there. Yeah, you get green, red, yellow, purple, blue, and orange. I so guess I could show you the colors this way. Egg-shaped chalk. So they've got kind of a flat bottom. Mm -hmm. For now they do until, you know, your kids use them. Yeah, they, they'll get messed up quick, but that's what they're for. And then I did pick up some more um, of these. I call them like bag boxes. Uh, I picked up three out of the four designs. This one just says Happy Easter. And this is also the larger size. I believe they have two sizes smaller. Um, thought that one was adorable. Uh, I thought this one was adorable, the little truck. Happy Easter, egg. join the egg hunt. But this one is my favorite. Look at how beautiful that one is, like a, beautiful wreath with all the little eggs around it. It says Happy Easter. And then the side of the box are just eggs. How cute. 
I love that one. That's my all time favorite. And the fourth one that I did not pick up was, um, it was just a little more cartoony, um, great for kids. I just didn't see a need for it. Um, and uh, moving right along, look at it. I got each of the kids these cute little bunny ears. The oh, sequins. Too tall. Yeah, well, you way, are. Way back. Um, I thought they were fun. The kids are going to love these. And honestly, I feel like this is the best set of bunny ears I've ever seen at the Dollar Tree. Look at Adam. It ha they have things to keep the ears up, like yeah. inside of them. It's Yeah, there's clearly some plastic thing in there. So I just thought these were so cool. Best ones I've ever seen in Dollar Tree. That's good. Oh, okay. Let me fix your hair. Oh, thank you. And I did find some adorable little toys. So I picked up one of each, I guess. So they have the little bunnies and then they also have the little chickies. They're calling them hopping toys. They're just the little wind up ones that will hop across your table. Yeah, so those are so cute. And I found these. Um, they are called fabric gift bags. So they are each different if you look at the ears. So he has the ones with the polka dot and then this one is like the Guess their faces are the gingham. same. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, the ears. Mm -hmm. So I thought they were so cute and they have the little drawstring at the top. So, you know, you could stick some little goodies in there and pass them out. Yeah. I thought you meant like in each pack there was more than one kind. Oh, no. They're, mm -hmm. not, they're the same in each pack. You have to buy multiple packs to get all of the different. I'm following you now. Yeah. They, they got to get your money somehow. Yeah. And these are so cute. So I found this little bunny um, and they're like little old fashioned type of gumball, um, machine. gumball machines. And then I found this little egg one at the top. So you can just unscrew them. And probably I would say only really be able to put like M&Ms or something of that size, like the regular chocolate, because it's pretty small in there. I yeah. don't know. You could do like the mini ones or you could do I think just the regular. Six slits. Oh, you could do six slits. That would be a good one. So just thought that those were kind of cute. They're calling it a snack dispenser. If you left it in the open position, it would just drain them all out though. Some child will do that, I'm sure, or adult. And I don't know if you guys remember, but Mr. Holland was so excited about the Valentine pretzel rods that Dollar Tree had. Whoa. They're good. Look at this. They're so good. They came out with Easter ones. They're so good. If you haven't had one, you need to have one. They're so good. So these are two white chocolatey pretzel rods. And they, they're I think really they're... pretty. They have like the green and purple. That yeah. they kind of drizzled on the, the rods. I think something like this is also pretty easy to make at home if you wanted to. You could go to the store and buy the pretzel sticks that are this long and then just get some chocolate that you can melt down and do it yourself. It is easy, however... They aren't going to look that good. I wasn't going to say that, but it when you melt chocolate and you'd have to melt multiple colors of chocolate as well, it just kind of It'll creates be a, lot of a work. mess. Hey. And I'm the Plenty of people don't cleaning mind that. fairy that Adam seems to forget. <laughs> no, I, this place just magically cleans itself. Because of me, I'm the cleaning fairy. So, okay, anyways, we're moving on. So I found these baking molds. They're so cute, little bunnies. They're all the same, but they're just different colors. So it's the same design. They have it in pink, aqua, and purple. So that, cute this little bunny. This lets you see the face a little better, huh? And it says the maximum temperature that you can bake it at is 446 degree Fahrenheit. That's very specific. It is oddly specific. And it, you can run it through the dishwasher. So that's. It can go down to negative 40 degrees. I don't know how they know that either, but. Well, we clearly tested it, but it's just a silicon little thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
What do you plan? What do you plan on making this? Well, you could make like little cakes or brownies. Are you gonna do that? I could. Brownies would be good. I like brownies. Oh, you like that idea? I like brownies. You like that idea? And then I picked up these egg garlands and I did pick up three of them because I plan on, hopefully we can just do it now. Um, I plan on making them longer. So they have tied this in a circle. So now we should be able to just tie end to end, but we'll want to do the yellow, I guess and extend it out as long as you need it. So I thought that that was kind of cool. Oh, I will say though, the speckles suggest this would be some sort of bird egg. Well, it's a spring Easter the egg. Same. Would you like to teach us more about bird eggs? No. Okay. Just so, growing up, we had trees around the house and Every once in a while, a bird egg would fall out of them. Oh, yeah, it happens, doesn't it? So they so were much smaller than this. You can just untie it and then make it as long as you need for your the, garland. Yeah, and the twine, you could trim it in the places where you tied it. Mm -hmm. And it's going to get little twine hairs all over your clothes. Well, that's just what twine does. Twine does what twine does. So see, we just put three of them together and now we have, uh, did it say how long it was initially? A new. So I would guess mm, at least five feet, maybe six feet long. You guys stand up for me? No. Oh no, he's measuring with his foot again, you guys. I think, I think it's probably about a two foot long section. So this is about six feet long then, now. So. Well, my wingspan isn't quite six feet, so. Yep. Sure, it's sure. It, it's at least six feet. So I'll go back and cut that twine off of the edges when, when we're done. And then I found these carrot picks. So these are larger than the uh, carrot with the like little twine around that I had picked up in the last Easter haul. And I just thought they were so cute. I love the two different colors of orange that they used. They're just styrofoam and they glued on the, yeah. the ribbon. Honestly, whatever. when you see some of the stuff they make, it's like, you could probably make a lot of this stuff. I don't know that you would do it cheaper than what they're doing, but uh, mm -hmm. it probably wouldn't look as good either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, moving along. So you just love walking back and forth. She does, on. she keeps going back You and can forth. get in here, right here. There you go. So I found here. this cute little happy Easter sign that you can hang. I thought that was so stinking adorable. I had to pick that up. And I believe they had another one. I don't remember if it said Happy Easter as well or if it was just different colors. I love this kind of blue um, metallic. So that's what stole my heart, but had to pick that up. Good for putting like at your front door or anywhere, really. You could hang it on your wall. Yeah, you could hang it anywhere. I'm just thinking like your front door because that's what I, that's what comes to mind for me. So, and we found another garland and I know that Dollar Tree had this last year. I had picked one up last year and I usually hang a little garland outside at our front door. And so I had tossed that one in the trash. So that is where this one is gonna go. Again. This one looks like it required, no, I guess not. No, no, I'm gonna put this at the front door as well. And it is 70.9 inches, so. That's a lot. Just under six feet. I feel like most of the garlands you got in the past were like five, so. So that's. You get an extra almost foot. And then I found another pack of the Easter gift bags. Mm. This one has the bunnies, and then on the other side, it's the rainbow. I thought those were so cute. And these kind of bags would be great for doing an Easter egg hunt. You could just have your, like, yeah. the, each kid has their own bag so they know which one is theirs and they go and fill it up. And then at the end of the day, you don't feel guilty about 
throwing the bag away or recycling it. Yeah, we've done like Easter egg hunts at church before and mm -hmm. they had just bags like that, I think, and kids filled them to the brim. Yeah. And I picked these up for our kids. Um, they're calling it a tray. Uh, I only saw it in the two different colors, the green and the purple, but these are great for when you dye your Easter eggs. And then it has space for a dozen eggs on them. Yeah. And your kids could display them for a little while. You don't want to leave the eggs out too long if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Or buy the, I've seen at Walmart and maybe Target before, they have like um, basically a fake egg that you dye and then you can keep them forever and leave them out and you don't have to worry about them going bad. I just figured they made these so that when you're dyeing them, it's somewhere like they can dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not have to worry about what it's dyeing. It's anything's I just realized the last time we did this, we did not have a white table. You have to have a... Oh, a white kitchen table for when we dye the Easter eggs? Don't worry. I have it covered. I have a tablecloth. So I have, um, I did find these adorable little spatulas. spatulas. So they have two sets and then my sweet friend Sarah had gotten me these, uh, this yellow and pink. So this one has a cute little bunny on and you can't see it very well, but it's like a pink gingham. And then this is an egg and it says egg hunt on it. We got an Easter bunny. Oh. And it says, What's the other one say? That one says Hoppy Easter with the Easter Cotton Bunny. Cottontail Farms, carrots, chocolate, and eggs. They're so cute. I hope that Dollar Tree keeps doing stuff like this. This is stuff I would normally pick up at Hobby Lobby, and I would pay more than a dollar twenty-five for it. So I'm happy to see those yeah. at Dollar Tree. And if you don't actually use them, I mean they're they're good for like kids to play with. So. Yeah, like um, pretend cooking, or you know what? They can cook in the kitchen with you there with you those. Yeah. So, and then I love garland. I love garland. So here's another, I think this is the last garland of this Where haul. Where are you gonna put all these? I don't know. But look how cute these little carrots are. I loved those. So adorable. And they match a lot of the other stuff that Dollar Tree has come out with this year. Six feet long, says it right there. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. I I don't know where they're going, but I'll find a place. And then I did find, these are, it's an eight piece of little bunny erasers. This is my job. I'm sorry, I am stealing here. your job. So that they can see you talk. And I thought these would also be a good idea as an Easter egg filler for an Easter egg hunt. Our kids- Eight, eight like, eggs, you don't have to fill them. Or you could put like two in an egg because they're kind of small. I'm just saying. And then another item that you could put in an egg is something that Dollar Tree gets every single year. And it's these Whack-A-Pack uh, balloons. And this year, I noticed that they had a uh, three different packs. And each pack has four different designs. Yeah. So I feel like usually in the past, they've only had two different design packs that you could purchase. So they're stepping it up this year, unless I've just been living under a rock, which is entirely Hanging with possible. My peeps. So I thought that they were adorable. So yeah. he's this, shown you that design a few This times. one's the coolest one though, right though. There's a little chick with bunny ears on it. Look at that. That is cute. So then there's this one here. Take your job. Yeah, quit trying to take my job. Mm -hmm. Those are cute. And then this one. Oh, a little bunny gnome. So cute. Hoppy Easter. That's like the same guy we saw on another, on one of the stamps. That's mm -hmm. the same guy as one of the stamps right there. And then they have some adorable Easter baskets this year. So I just picked this one up. Um, they have it in uh, multiple colors. I picked out my favorite color as Mr. Vanna over here is showing it to you guys. And it has these cute little bunnies around the handle. 
one looks like a peep bunny and then one is like a regular bunny. I don't know if you got that on the video and it also has what a looks flower. like a flower at the top. Oh. So that's just kind of fun. Definitely a good place to get Easter baskets. <clears throat> Um, and then this, another sign, this one says Happy Easter and it's the black and white buffalo check. I thought that was so cute. They also had two other design, like two other gingham. Um, one was uh, like a pastel pink and then one was a like a blue, a light blue color. And they said different verbiage on them. I think one said like Easter blessings and then I can't remember what the third one said. So I thought that was cute. I, uh, I'm realizing how long we've had this though. Yeah, we forgot about it. We forgot about it. It was supposed to be in the last hall. The last the Easter, last Easter hall. hall. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. And then I found some adorable window clings. So here is the first one. Oh, look at all those bunnies. That is so cute. And those Little eggs. Chicks and eggs. I mean, those eggs are mm. so pretty. Oh I like my goodness. I like the chicks the best. They're, <laughs> they're pretty cute. Oh, this one's got little bunny ears. And so here is the next one. The little truck. An Easter truck. So cute. I'm seeing these for the first time with you guys, so. And I have in my opinion, saved the best for last. And look at this, this one is gorgeous. I hope that you guys are able to find this. This bunny is so cute. I love this one. I could stare at this for hours. It's just so pretty. Are you gonna, are you gonna put it there? Maybe. Look at, look at that. It's so cute. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> just look at it. Did you look at it? And I, this is not really Easter, but they brought it out at Easter time. I picked out a little um, hat, like a little gardening hat. It's got and a it has leopard the print leopard print. print. They also had um, a couple different ribbons on some hats there. Why'd you take it off? Because I was showing it off. You are gonna so wear it the rest of the video. I think that the bow needs to kind of go off to the side. It's probably supposed to go in the back, but that's how it'll be. <laughs> So definitely go get yourself one of these if you are in the market. And then I found these are, they're calling them popcorn tubs. They're like clear acrylic. That's, I guess you could call it a popcorn. They're popcorn, popcorn tubs. They yeah. are shaped exactly like popcorn tubs. So I thought these were so cute. Had to pick some up. I don't think that I would put popcorn in them. You could. You could you do could, a lot of things. You could, but oh, that looks so You could cute. even make them into like a little you could flower just, display. Or you could put a bunch of candy in them and or say, bunch of candy. happy Easter to your niece or nephew or... Better idea. So we bought the popcorn that had chocolate and stuff all over it. Put them in here. Now it's popcorn. But it's candy popcorn. You could do that. That's an idea. So this is, I just thought it was a cute container to be able to put things in to like give away. This one has like a little egg, egg wreath with a truck. Mm -hmm. And these are the last items of the haul. And I, I love pails. Anytime I see pails or anything that's, um, what's this? Galvanized. Galvanized. I love galvanized. Oh, I love it. Oh, and I think that that's my favorite one. This one that Adam's holding. Oh, hold on then. Okay. So there are four different designs. So I picked up one of each. So a pink truck with some carrots in the back. So cute. It's on, it's on two sides. Each design looks like it's going to be on yeah, both sides. Yeah, it's on sides. the front and the back. And then the little Easter gnome. It says Happy Easter. And then he's holding up a sign that says Egg Hunt. So cute. Nice. And then another truck. So they did two trucks in these designs. Happy Easter, join the egg hunt. I can't tell if that's focused at all. I don't think it did, but I think it was clear enough you could see it. And then show them my favorite one. This last one says Cottontail Farm, open daily. 
And then it says the three little things I said the spatula does. Carrots, oh. chocolates, and eggs. This is my favorite one. I love that one. It's so cute. I wish we would have done more design with like that little bunny and everything. So cute. Ooh. Okay, so that was our Easter haul. Um, Mr. Holland, do you I have a question? I definitely have a question. Okay, what's your question? <clears throat> and I think that this is a thing already, but I was just thinking about, you know, Target has the dollar spot where mm -hmm. you get like dollar, three dollar, five dollar, and sometimes there's more like- Sometimes it's seven and 10. They haven't done that as much recently, but yes, uh-huh. And I think that there are Dollar Tree stores that do something kind of like that, but should they roll that out everywhere? Because I, I mean, mm -hmm. for us, if you go to Target, you have to stop in the dollar spot because well, right there's you walk some in. great deals and there's always some cool stuff. And it's like, if, if they can do this much for a dollar and a quarter, it's like, what can they do for $5? That's what I, I want to know. Well, yeah, because so my question is, should they do that everywhere? Should they, should they roll, roll it out, that out everywhere? Store? Okay, because yeah. we don't have it um, at all in the entire state where we're at. Um, but I will say, um, I had read a lot of comments from the previous video and I am going to be doing a Walmart trip sometime in the near future since Walmart does have a lot of stuff that honestly is at the 98 cent price point which is better than the Dollar Tree ever was. And um, at our Walmart, they actually have a dollar spot now. Yeah, I don't know do. what they call it, but just the easiest way for me to remember is it's like a dollar spot. Yeah. So I'll have to check that out. Um, I do plan on checking out the Target dollar spot. I had a wonderful subscriber also recommend Dollar General. We have quite a few, and that's a store that just never comes to my mind, and I should shop there more often. Yeah, but it's like the closest one to us is like 20 minutes out. No, it's not. There's not one in town, is there? Yeah. Where? You don't have to tell me I'll now. I'll tell you later. <laughs> um, Only one I've ever seen is way out there. He doesn't get out much, so... I don't. I'm the one who goes everywhere. So, like, those three places come to mind of places I need to go. I also... Um, have pondered maybe doing um, a five below haul. So I'd have to order online because we don't have that store in our state either. Or my mom was telling me about Shein and they have a bunch of like craft supplies that everything's under $2. So I have a lot of uh, stores that I would like to either look online or get out there and do some shopping. So stay tuned for those type of videos. However, Saturdays will remain Dollar Tree video days. It's like you read my mind. So I was thinking that same thing. So if yes, any other video will be a different day. That isn't Dollar Tree. Maybe it'll be like Wednesday or mm -hmm. whatever day we, whatever we land find on. this best. So Saturdays will remain Dollar Tree holidays because we love Dollar Tree and hopefully they just keep coming out with better stuff. Uh, I'm excited to see what this dollar and a quarter increase will bring for the rest of the year. Yeah. So, so make sure you are subscribed mm -hmm. and that the notification bell is selected and you, and I think there's an option in that lets you see all of our videos when they, when they're live to just make sure you select that because we may, start doing videos throughout the week. We just aren't gonna do them necessarily Have surprise schedule. videos or have shorts. So you don't wanna miss those videos. Yes. So make sure you're, you got the bell turned on. Yes. So um, we hope that you guys are having a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful rest of your week. And thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, stay happy, stay healthy, and happy Holland. Bye guys. She like got up just to say bye. She knew it was time.